614, welcome back. April shower supposed to bring May flowers, but this year Mother Nature has gotten way ahead of herself. No kidding. You probably already noticed the recent explosion of wildflowers along our roads. And so thanks to some extra wet weather. Katrina Weber shows us one place in the hill country where spring, spring rather is blooming by the acre. The mornings are unbelievable here. It's fun to come to work and see the color. Seeing it in bloom at this time of the year is just, um, it, you can't get tired of that. It's a good thing John Thomas never gets tired. These fields of flowers are his life, his livelihood. I kept noticing people pulled over on the highway taking pictures of blue bonnets and having a farming background. I said, you know, somebody needs to be growing these uh, for seed. With that, the seed was planted for a business that's been going and growing about four decades. Thomas's Wild Seed Farms works to keep wild flowers blooming for generations. On more than 200 acres in Fredericksburg, the former rancher and rice farmer grows colorful clusters that ships out their seeds to the world, including about two dozen highway departments in the U.S. A lot of the color you see on the roadside, we may have had a hand in that. The beautiful scenery here is a byproduct of it all, and visitors take it in by the thousands. Right now, Thomas's favorite little blue flower is drawing big crowds. Blue bonnets may be the spring thing, but Thomas says at any given point of the year, something is blooming here. His fields are an ever-changing sea of color. Thanks to extra rainfall a few months back, the blooming is booming weeks ahead of schedule. This is a good season. This is in the top 10. With nature's help, flower power here is stronger than it's been in a while. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.